so uh, I was bored and um, I, I wanted to try something I haven't done in a while so here you guys go I don't know nobody asked for this nobody this didn't even need to see the light of day but now that I made it it has to welcome to what will probably scar everybody for life both physically and mentally. You know, I was just wandering around earlier today. Uh, just gonna cut into a little bit of realism for all of you. Wandering around a little bit today, I thought that maybe I should get a car. But then I realized that cars are expensive. So I, I, I go to my best friend, Tuna, and I just ask him really quick, you, you know anybody who can make me a deal on cars? And... Saying it exactly like that was the main problem. Because he immediately broke out into this. Yeah, man, I can get you a deal on cars. I can get you a deal on anything. I am Suniyoshi Sawada. I own the entire Italian Mafia. All of it. I am king of Italian Mafia. Just like your Tyrant of Chaos. I am king of Italian Mafia. And don't mind the fact that I don't have an Italian accent. I was... Somehow raised by Japanese people that are somehow related to Italians. We'll, we'll get to that part later. That part don't need to make sense. N needless to say, you, you need new keys. In fact, let me just buy you a whole new house. I'll cut you a deal. 500 grand. And I can get you this brand new house on the Italian shore. Like, Suniyoshi, I asked you for a car. Oh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Let me get you a car. Uh, I was going to buy one legally, but I think you might have the right idea. Maybe we should just take what we want. Uh, oh, well. All right, calm down. Rico has foolproof plan. Make all the money. Rico's going to be rich by the end of this. All right. Sit back. But like Rico's got a foolproof plan. All right. Listen, Rico. It's nice that you are trying to help out around here. But the last time we did anything you said, we all kind of blew up. I, I, I think even... I have to draw the line at everybody getting blown up. I mean, I kind of want to survive to the next war. Do not worry. My dear sweet Evangeline, Rico has foolproof plan. You see, here I hold all the mushroom I have stolen from Evangeline over the past seven years. Well, uh, that would explain where all of it's gone. But, uh, why do you have that much? It's not safe to have that much. I stopped making that stuff ages ago, too. Rico has been collecting. Also, Rico's been endorsing the plan ever since he left. But that's neither here nor there. What's here is Rico. What's there is Evangeline. Now the foolproof plan is we're going to sell this stuff and we're going to break some brains. We're going to turn everybody's brain into so much emotion that they're just going to be zombies. And then we're going to take that baseball bat and then, and then, and then. Alright, 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 alright. Who, who left the fake Rico on? Wait, that, that's the real one? Yes, the, the real one doesn't talk about mush roll. The real one doesn't even like mush roll. I mean, everybody knows what happened when we used that. Well, yeah, it just, uh, uh, you're right. Now, somebody, get the real Rico. We have to kill the fake one. Actually, leave that to me. We may not have any stabbing sound effects put in here, but uh, that's not going to stop me from making one. <laughs> There, I, I bet that sounded super realistic. Now, on to the next thing. How do we make more money? I, Tyrano Chaos, the entire 
Kingdom. We'll pay conscript. Bye. Where are all the evil penguins? I mean, where are all the evil exploding penguins? Well, I, I had to let go of most of the evil exploding penguins that I never had to begin with because, well, they're expensive. Yeah, but evil exploding penguins. You can just throw them like baseballs and then they explode like dynamite. Carl, oh, I'm talking like a five-year-old. I can't help it. I look like a five-year-old. I don't even wear a shirt. You think I care? I don't care. I don't even have a shirt. I barely even got pants. Look at these things. These things come up to my butt. They don't even come all the way to covering my thighs. They're not shorts. Laurel, uh, you're giving a really descriptive terminology for yourself, and by that I mean you're not using words to describe yourself at all. You're just, you're just you, really. Yeah, I haven't changed in years. Mikey, Mikey, calm down. My name's not Mikey. I told you I'm Laurel. I came back from the past. You know, five years ago. That was the past, right? Well, Laurel, if you check the book on the terminology, yes, that's the past. Well, what am I supposed to know? I've been stuck asleep for the past seven, eight years. I think it's only been like five or six, but sure, go on. You're embarrassing yourself. Well, every time I embarrass myself, you embarrass yourself too. Well, I have to be associated with you for sake of you possibly blowing up the entire freaking universe. And before you start saying something, I just want to note, that's my job. And if you blow up the universe again, I will reprimand you for it. Just so that I can do it myself. Hey, stop interrupting me. I am the best. I am the strongest. No, I am the best. I am the most dangerous. I am the best. When I hit people with my overlord's fist, it just causes massive explosions, the pillar, the fire. Yeah, but I've got the finale, the chaotic finale, that trap people in giant golden balls of energy. And when I trap people in golden balls of energy, all that energy just goes inside of them and then I can kick them into the sky and flash them with the chaos slash. Wow, I, I really got into that. Usually I don't get into anything. What are you doing to me? Ha, huh. it's Laharl's power. Stop referring to yourself in the third person. It's my power. You see, I have the power to make people actually feel. Well, uh, that's a very specific power. But, you know, you make me just kind of feel resentment right now. Yes! Usually you feel nothing. Remember the last time you came to my castle? You just kind of blew it up? Yeah, you didn't feel anything back then. You burned the entire library. Flan was really angry about that. But you burn the entire library. Who even does that? Who specifically goes out of their way to find a library in a castle that doesn't even have a library just so that they can burn it to the ground? Well, I'm the type of guy. I'm the type of guy who finds a possibility, locates the fact that it is an impossibility, and then I still burn it to the ground. And do you want to know why? Why? Because I had lemons. Your castle was full of lemons that day, and I had just heard about Cave Johnson and his amazing invention to turn lemons into bombs. You're going to tell me if you discovered a giant exploding lemon that has the ability to burn your house down, that you wouldn't use it to burn somebody's house down? I see your point. I'm not mad anymore. But, now we have to end this. What do you mean? Well, I mean, this is just a little one-off skit you're doing, right? I mean, it's not like you're going to do this every other week. What are you, what are you talking about? I can, I can do it whenever I want. Yeah, but the last time you did it, you made it out like you were going to do more, and then you never did. It's been like seven years since the last one. You know, you know uh, we never really did look up uh, how long it's been. We could do that right now. I, I, I mean, I've got YouTube right in front of me. Yeah, but you're too busy with those shows you're watching. Yeah, but try not to list any of them. I don't know if I can get uh, attacked for any of that. Probably not. 
thought, let's not. Besides, you're right. I watch some really weird stuff. Wait, did you just swear in one of my videos? I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. You just give it a try. I've got my overlord's fist ready, cocked and ready to go. You, you, you just don't stop, do you? No, I don't. You got a problem with that? You better pick it up with me. Me. Look at this shirtlessness. Yeah. Uh, look at me. I wear a shirt. I'm a civilized person. And by civilized, I mean I still have a higher body count than you. Now get out of my room. Well, you didn't have to be so mean about it. Fine. Bye. I'll take my short, short pants and go find somebody who actually appreciates my commentary. Well, uh, you do that. I'm, I'm sure Fawn has many things she wishes to talk to you about. Like, uh, that time that you burned the entire library that doesn't exist to the ground. Bye.